Hello and welcome to this session on verbs and verbals. Verbals are verb forms, words which look like verbs but act as another part of speech such as nouns or adjectives. The verbal that acts as a noun is called a gerund. The verbal that acts as an adjective is called a participle. Most gerunds and participles end in ing, but don't forget that most words that end in ing are verbs, and the task for you is to identify when an ing word is a verb, when it is a noun, or when it is an adjective. First we will look at gerunds. Here is an example using the word running. She is running to catch the bus. Here, running is a verb. But in this next sentence, running is her favorite summertime activity, running is a noun since it is the subject of the sentence. Remember that only nouns and pronouns can serve as subjects of the sentence. So if a verb form is used as a noun, it is a gerund. Here is another example using the word forgetting. He is always forgetting to set his alarm clock. Here, forgetting is a verb. In this next sentence, forgetting to bring in your homework is a major problem in upper school. Here, Forgetting is a noun since it is the key word in a phrase which serves as the subject of the sentence. Here, forgetting is also a gerund. Here is one more example using the word cleaning. They are cleaning their rooms before the trip. Here, cleaning is a verb. But in the next sentence, he hates cleaning his room here, cleaning is a direct object. A direct object must be either a noun or a pronoun. And since cleaning is a verb form that is acting as a noun, it is a gerund. Now take a minute to find the gerunds in the following list. Okay, now we'll look at participles. A participle is a verb form that acts as an adjective. Most participles end in ing, but some end in ed or en. These endings remind us that participles come from verbs, either in the present or past tense. Here are a few examples. George is flying to London tomorrow. Here, flying is a verb because it expresses the action of flying. Flying across the ice, George stunned his teammates and scored a goal at the end of the period. Here, flying is an adjective describing George as he skates over the ice. So flying, which comes from a verb but is acting as an adjective here, is a participle. Harry is following the directions very carefully. Following here is a verb. Following his brother's lead, Jim signed up to participate in the golf tournament. Following here is an adjective, and as an adjective coming from a verb, it is a participle. Look at these other sentences and try to distinguish between the verbs and the participles.
Now that you are an expert in distinguishing between verbs and verbals, you are ready to find the ing words in the following sentences and label each one as a verb, a gerund, or a participle. Enjoy!